LT, do you have any surprise that the Patriots find themselves in another scandal? <laughs> you know what? Um, I am pretty surprised, you know. Uh, this type of scandal, you know, um, it's certainly not expected. But the one thing I know about playing this game for so long, quarterbacks like their balls how they like them. You know, they like to, you know, break them in and do certain things to them to help them play better. And so we don't know exactly what happened. We do know something happened. Um, but, you know, the NFL is investigating, and hopefully we, we find out why it was done and who did it. LT, a year ago at this time, we were talking about the Chargers actually finding a way in the playoffs, protecting Phillip Rivers and the future for Ryan Matthews. Do you think the Chargers took a step back this season? Well, I, I wouldn't say took a step back just because they didn't make the playoffs. They certainly wasn't as healthy as, as they were the previous year. And I think that hurt a little bit, not having Ryan Matthews for a number of games, um, you know, different offensive linemen in and out of the lineup. Um, a lot of defensive players were hurt as well. And so you have to look at all that and point to the fact that I think that was the reason why they just couldn't make that, that push to get in the playoffs and, and win that last game. Ryan Matthews is a free agent now. If you're the Chargers, do you, can you count on him? Is he a guy that you can bring back? Well, I mean, I, I think you have to explore options. You have to see what, what you know Ryan wants, if he wants to be back in San Diego, and then what he's asking for. Because if you have a guy like Adrian Peterson that might be on the market, then you have to explore that option. Junior Seau is a finalist for the Hall of Fame for this weekend. Can you put in your words what type of teammate and, and, and person Junior Seau was for you? Well, for me, you know, he, he was... Um, he was such a fabulous teammate, you know, because he was so open to helping young guys, particularly at my time, a first round draft pick, you know, coming in, not knowing, you know, much about how things are done in National Football League. Junior opened himself up, you know, to me. And, um, you know, the thing that I learned about him is he cared about other people. And that was part of the reason why I got so involved in the community, because I saw what Junior say I was doing in the community. He had a big heart for people, and that's the, that's the one thing that I will always remember about Junior Seah. The heart he had, you know, the kindness that he showed me and my family, and just being a, a tremendous guy. One favorite Junior Seah story that you have on the football field or off? Well, my first, my first practice, my encounter with Junior Seah, um, mini camp, um, probably my first play getting in, I had to block him, and I seen this guy running all over the field, yelling, and he was in that A-gap like he loves to be in. And, you know, we're not in pads, and so I'm thinking, okay, I'll just fit him up, put my hands on, and he ran me over, knocked my helmet off, put my butt on the, on the, on, on the grass, and that's my one lasting memory, my first encounter with Junior Seah. Thank you so much, LT.